We are expecting a statement from high officials of the government to speak to, to address the situation, the current situation that is taking place in the country. to our brother president, to our brother minister of defense and the high command to trust us. It is a very special situation because nobody desires to see the image that we're looking at in the streets. Nobody. That is why in my condition of General Commander of the Army and in representation of the three commanders of the forces, I ask or order, I say, that all the personnel that is mobilized in the streets should return to their, unit, to their units. Senator Zuniga has been a good commander, and we ask him not to let blood of our soldiers in the streets. Brother President, this new high command, commander of the forces, we're going to accomplish what the Constitution says, the political Constitution of the state, and what the law demands from our military personnel, we're going to be interested in that the local legal constitutional situation remains according to what the Constitution says. Thank you very much. We are looking. We are looking at live images, and we are just about to listen to President of Bolivia, Luis Arce, address the situation from the government house. Let's listen. Los invitados a este acto de posesión de los comandantes de las fuerzas, tres fuerzas armadas, saludamos a nuestras hermanas ministras, hermanos ministros, viceministros de Estado. Saludamos al hermano vicealmirante. We salute our brother brigadier in chief of the armed forces of the state, to the division general Wilson Sanchez Velasquez, general commander of the army, to general of division. Air Division, 
General of the Air Forces and Vice Almaril to the General Commander of the Bolivian Army. To the Division of the Armed Forces and the General Division Marcel Gabriel Serraza Gutierrez, General Commander of the all outgoing commanders to the military personnel that is accompanying him, to the Vice Admiral Brigadier, to all who are present in this opportunity, who are attempting against our political constitution, but also we count on military that know that our, consti that our political constitution and respect the law is very important. We salute to those who are military and they dress their uniform with pride and they, value, they validate the political laws of a state, of a government that was elected democratically. We reject the attitude of those militaries that unfortunately repeat the recent history of the country, trying to carry out a coup when the Bolivian people have always been a democratic people. We are in a situation in which the national government in Casa Grande, together with his cabinet and minister, with ministers, with our brothers, vice president, and together with the Bolivian people, and together with a good military that know how to respect the constitution of the country. We have to respect the democracy that has been won by the vote of the people. We salute the Bolivian people who is actually around this square trying to defend the government. We salute the international organs that have rejected this act to the friendly countries that have pronounced themselves in favor of democracy in Bolivia. We salute all who are at this moment making statements, governors, mayors, social organizations, who are pronouncing themselves against any action against the democracy of the people in Bolivia. We salute the commander of police of the Bolivian police
who have kept to the law as it should be, as the police should behave. We would like to salute the presence of our, of our brother who represents the culture and also the Women Confederation We also salute the presence of all the Bolivians in social media who are rejecting this coup attempt that the only thing they're doing is the damage the democracy image of our country before the world in moments in which the Bolivians need to work in order to put the country forward We are sure that with everything that is happening today in our country and with and that with this appointment that we have made today, we're going to abolish and to put down the intention, the coup intentions of any some military. We call the Bolivian people to mobilize. We call the Bolivian people to keep the calm because all Bolivians together, we're going to we're going to vanquish all the coup attempt in this country. We also would like to salute the former commander of Air Forces and salute the three new commanders to respect not only the political constitution of, this, of the Bolivian state that is actually because the military command cannot be broken. The military should respect the constitutional situation in the country. We will continue to work together with our military so that we can continue and guarantee that the military forces be in the service of the people. Thank you very much.